Hey guys, I just got a question from Lynette in the group. So I wanted to share with you uh, what we do for dogs who get super excited to go for a walk, whether it's you're grabbing their collar or harness, you're grabbing their leash, you're walking to the door and they're just getting super excited and going crazy and barking and coughing and running in circles. That's what her dogs are doing. So I want to help you out and show you what we do uh, with Kim and we this is what I teach to all of my clients who have the same issue. What we do to get your dogs to calm down when it's time to go for a walk. to calm down when it's time to go for a walk well first of all it makes it easier for you um, we want to get your dog's energy level down and they're excited and that's understandable we want to get your dog's energy level down and a little more even so that they are one going to be easier to manage on the walk but also for their safety you don't want them bolting out the door because they're so excited and jerking you around and pulling on the leash which if they have that super ex super high energy level they're super excited and again it's understandable walk time is a really fun time for your dog every day but if they have that really high energy level they're going to be more difficult to manage on the walk they're going to pull on the leash they might even try to overpower you bolt out to chase a squirrel or a car you never know so it's for their own safety we want to manage their energy level keep them a little more calm and even and I want to show you how we do that. Sometimes we accidentally cause our dogs to get overexcited by being overexcited ourselves. So if you have a dog and you're ready to go for a walk and you're getting them all amped up by just yelling, hey, let's go for a walk, time to go for a walk, and you're getting overexcited, that can lead to overexcitement in your dog. So I do want to mention that we want to bring our energy level down and remain as calm as possible which again is one of the seven canine commandments in my book seven miracle steps to train your dog i highly recommend all of you grabbing it it is one of the seven canine commandments put these in place in your home you will see a huge difference with your dog what do we do in lynette's case she has three dogs so the very first thing we want to do is to individually train your dogs to go to bed or go to a mat, um, which is actually a, a fairly easy thing to do, but not the key focus of this video, but that's going to be the first thing you want to do is to teach them to go to a bed or go to a mat, because if individually they're going to a bed or going to a mat, then you can manage them and call them one by one to put their leash and collar on or harness. I actually prefer a harness. So I want to show you what we did with Kim. Uh, actually, first, I'm going to show you when we first got her, she first, first off, she had separation anxiety, which is just heartbreaking, but she was so incredibly excited every time I got the leash out. So I'm going to show a video right now of what Kim was like when we first got her, just when we were trying to leave the house. Kim, we got to go, okay? Kim, I'll see you later, okay? See what I mean? And that was just when she, we were trying to leave the house. She had some crazy energy. She didn't want us to leave. She was super anxious and wound up all the time like that. Um, but now we can get her to calm down pretty easily anytime we're going out for a walk or for a trip, a ride in the car, anything like that. We can get her to calm down. So I want to show you how we do this. So I'm going to go grab Kim and her harness and her leash. So before I go grab her harness and her leash, I do want to tell you this is a multi-step process. So just like with anything else we're doing with dog training, we're taking it step by step. So we're going to train kind of in baby steps, and I, I know I use that word a lot, but it's the truth. This is exactly how we train. So any, so you, first you want to go get their collar or harness, and of course, harness is going to be my preference. And if your dog gets excited just from you grabbing their harness, you want to put it back. So we're effectively saying, you're too excited, we're going to cancel the walk. And we're just going to take these in baby steps. Once we get to the point where we can grab their harness and they can, they're not going crazy, um, then we want to actually put 
put the harness on them. Again, baby steps because anytime your dog starts getting overly excited, we want to go one step back to where they're calm again and then try again because what we're telling our dog is that that overly excited um, energy that they have is not what we want. So they are taking a step back from what they want so that they can calm down and then we can progress from there. Then you're going to grab your leash and I'm going to show you. Sometimes you may actually have to cancel the walk and not just pretend to cancel the walk and that is okay because what we can do instead of going on a walk is playing games in the house, um, playing tug of war, playing with stuffed toys, playing with a Kong or whatever your dog loves to play with, just running around the yard, chasing a frisbee, chasing a ball. We're gonna do that instead. So it's okay if you actually have to cancel your walk. We wanna let them know that that super high energy level that they have is not okay, not acceptable. So we need to bring their energy level back down before we can proceed to the next step in actually getting out the door and going on a walk. Okay, so I've grabbed her harness and leash. She is a little bit excited, but we're just gonna calm her down a little bit. Okay, see, that's too excited. Too excited. So if she's too excited, what, what you can do first is to just put the harness behind your back. She's still paying attention to me, which is good. Good job. So now that she's calm and she's sitting, she still has a little bit of energy. You can see it coming out right there where she was panting. Good job. So she's calmly letting me put the harness on. And if at any point she starts getting overly excited again, I'm, I'm going to take it a step back. Good job, yeah, good job. So now that she's getting a little bit excited again, I don't want to progress. Kim, sit. Once you tell them to sit, you don't want to say anything else after that because that may be a trigger releasing them from the sit and they might jump right back up and get excited again. So we want to avoid that. So once they give us a sit, in this instance, the reward is moving forward with putting on the harness or the leash. Not a good boy or good girl or okay. The reward is moving further to actually go on the walk. And that is all there is to it. Now, if you're starting to walk out the door and your dog starts getting crazy again and super high energy again, take it a step back. Just like we were doing with putting on the harness and the leash. Just take it a step back. And until they're calm again and then progress to move forward. It may take a little bit of time, but that's okay. It's well worth it. You want your dog to be able to be calm when you head out the door to go on a walk. So that is how we get our dog to calm down when we're going on a walk. Don't forget, grab your copy of the seven miracle steps to train your dog. Put a link in the description. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button that way you get notified when new videos come out thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video